Hamilton Khaki Series. Classic series. Um, most of you that know watches know Hamilton, know the Khaki Series. And this one is one that uh, I chose that is a little different than, uh, you know, a lot of divers that are on the smaller size. This one is 43 millimeters. Um, this is the Hamilton Khaki Navy Scuba. The blue is what got me. The Fume Dio. Just a lot of things. Obviously, the Hamilton name sold me too. But uh, this is model H8250514. Retail on this is, I think, $9.95. I know prices on the Hamiltons and stuff are going to be going up, I think. You got the signed crown, which is screw down. Unidirectional bezel. 60 click. Very, very good feeling. You've got sapphire crystal. Very easy to read dial with that classic khaki 24 hour scale on there as well. This is the Caliber H10. It's based off of a ETA C07611. 80 hour power reserve. Slowed down from the original 4 hertz movement down to a 3 hertz. And I believe that ETA C07 movement is actually based off the ETA 2824. This one has no date. So 43 millimeter case diameter. 13 millimeters thickness, 51 millimeter lug to lug counting off the lug edges. And then we have 56 if you count the male end links that bring the bracelet out a little wider. That's 56 millimeters. Then we have a 22 millimeter lug width. 1,000 foot water resistance or 300 meters. Sapphire crystal with AR coating, screw down crown, Nivacron, which is uh, the magnetic field uh, blocker, I guess you could say, resistor. And then the bezel is ceramic in that beautiful blue. And then once again, that Fume dial, just gorgeous. Now, one of the bummers on this watch is the clasp. You got all this room to play, but you have no diver's extension and only one extra micro adjust. So two micro adjusts and that's it. Kind of a letdown, especially when you're paying for something, you know, close to a grand. Um, got that beautiful etching. This is Hamilton in the milled scissor part of the clasp. And then you've got this, uh, Cool designed case back, solid case back. Very, very nice. But overall, I'm 100% pleased. There's little things here and there that could have been done better. But I'm not a maker. I'm not a manufacturer. I am a wearer. And I don't regret the watch. I definitely do like the watch. Let's get that loom going. And then we'll end the video. And there is the loom. Nothing too crazy special, but not bad at all. I imagine this is C1. I have no idea how many coats they would put on it. But definitely enough to uh, make the watch pop. And to be able to read in the dark for a while. Thanks for watching. Watch Tommy big time. Appreciate you guys. And uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. These are all going to be shorter five-minute videos. Nothing too long, nothing too crazy. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.